Okay, alpha, beta, roots, their sums and products. And the result we're using here is that if we've got a quadratic and we've got its roots, then we know that the sum of those roots, alpha plus beta, is always given by minus b over a, and the product c over a. That's our result that we'll use to set off in this question. Okay, from the first one, what we've got, roots alpha beta, and therefore alpha plus beta for this first quadratic, minus b over a, and alpha beta, product of the roots, 15 over 1. And in the second case, we've got the sum of the roots, new roots here, we've got these roots. So we've got alpha over beta plus beta over alpha, the sum equals h over 1, minus h over 1, sorry. And we've got the product of those roots, alpha beta divided beta alpha, the product is 1, and c over a, k over 1, is k. And in fact, that gives me my answer to the first part there. Expression for h in terms of m. I think for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this expression here, make this into a single fraction, common denominator, alpha beta, alpha squared plus beta squared, which will equal minus h. We've got an identity, very popular in these questions, an identity to deal with this expression here, which is alpha plus beta squared minus 2 alpha beta. Multiply that out and you will see that they are the same. And the reason we do it, of course, is that it now has the alpha plus beta to alpha beta that I can take from here and substitute in. So what have I got? Minus m squared minus 2 lots of 15 over 15 it's minus h, and I think that's going to give me h equals 30 minus m squared over 15. Just about fit that in. Part c. Part c gives me an expression connecting alpha and beta, and I think I will go back to this one for that, which tells me that alpha multiplied by beta equals 15. Multiply out, make into a quadratic, factorise, and we've got 3 and 5, 3 and 5 I believe, plus 6 minus 5, so we've got alpha is 5 over 2, or alpha equals minus 3 two possible values. And for my final part, two possible values of m. I'm going to go back to this one here. So alpha is minus 3 and beta from here. Beta is 15 over alpha. And consequently m be minus alpha plus beta. Eight's my first value, and if alpha equals 5 over 2, beta equals 15 divided 5 over 2, which is 6, and m in this case minus alpha plus beta minus 8.5 minus 17 over 2. And there's my two values for m.